So what did you just plant? Both of those. Two what different are these? types of peppers. Are one of these the new trial pepper that you got? Somebody took the package out of this tray. So now I'm missing a whole seed pack here. Check this. I didn't move anything, but um, if somebody had put it on this, then I had moved this. That's all. You might want to check that. Giant yellow marigold is what we're looking for in a Johnny's packet. Johnny's packet? This size packet. All I've got here is last year's oh. cilantro and last year's Let's see. dill. <clears throat> Could it have fallen on the floor? I don't know where it would have gone. I don't know either, but I was just asking. Well, it's not impossible, but... Yeah. Could it have gotten stuck to one of the other ones in that box of yours? I had them in here. Oh. I didn't like the hmm. dill from last year, but <clears throat> I think I'll plant it anyway. It wasn't flavorful enough. It smelled well, pretty, it looked pretty, but. I like the Long Island Mammoth Dill the best. I don't care for the others. Okay. You can plant it. Maybe we can sell them. That would be cool. I mean, they're, they're, I, they're not real fragrant. They're not real strong in, it, in flavor. So they're more like a. Um, they're more like something you'd put in a bouquet. Yeah. And I think that's what they were originally made for. Oh, did you see? More of my peppers are coming up. Yeah. And I don't know, but I think I might have spinach coming up too. Um, where would it have gone? Spinach is up here. I don't know where it would have gone to. I have no clue, Etienne. I saw that you, you took this tray out of the other tray really? that had too much water. For like $7 for the seed packet. <laughs> it's not like I want to go out and lose it. Could have fallen in one of those. Glad you found it. Yeah. It probably fell off the stack is probably what happened. Well, no, they were sticking up right in here. So they went to fall off the stack. Okay. Now that can go in there because that won't be used again until next grouping to be planted. black and dark brown seeds against dark soil. <laughs> yeah, it is. Right. Right. I'm 
variety now, these pepper ones? They are, but okay. they got the planting time date on them. Okay. I don't know where you want to put them, so. I didn't think of writing the date down of when I planted. I should have, but I didn't. I've got more broccoli plant, uh, broccoli seeds to start. You know, just dampen the soil. You can do that by putting water in here. Of course, it would be helpful if our floors are level, and they're not, so we'll have to do something. These are almost ready to put over there. Actually, I could put them over there and then water them when they're over there. It'll work. I come up with a watering solution. Yeah, it's called Don't Have Me Water Them. <laughs> you agreed with that too quickly. <laughs> I had no clue that I was overwatering them. Mom and I were talking about this morning. She goes, Goodness sakes, you don't saturate them. I said, Well, you guys said it needed to be wet. <laughs> you guys never described the texture of the soil when it's wet. But normally when you guys <coughs> tell me to water something, you mean to water it really well. So, I wasn't sure. Water it, not drown it. <laughs> You're not trying so, to recreate Noah's flood. I had no clue I had watered it too much. I really couldn't <laughs> see that I had. So... Mom was checking the ones in the kitchen in the other window over there by the sink. And she said, this one had this much water. And I guess it was something like three or four inches of water over the top of the soil. I'm like, I had no clue I had any water over the top of the soil. I just thought it was down there because you said all of them looked dry. So I just put a little bit of water from the sprayer in. She goes, you put a little bit too much. That one, I had to dump the water out. Maybe somebody else was helping me water them. I don't know. Anyhow, we don't know if the peppers are growing in that, but all the peppers in that window are mom's peppers that I started. They're these red peppers. Well, but, these are all of our pepper plants. Okay. For the summer. I'll, I'll, if they all come up, we've got 10 of one kind and... 24 of another. Plus, I have some, too, that have come so up we'll a have lot. 34, we'll have 34 pepper plants. Yeah. Plus, I have the, <clears throat> the pepper plants that I have started. A lot of those have come up. And I'm looking, look here. I mean, these are peppers in this six-pack. And look, there's, I didn't know I had more than one in each. But some of them have, like, three or four pepper plants. Because I couldn't see the seed I tried this is this is what happens when you cannot see what you're doing at least it's working I, don't know if we can separate them or not. I have no clue if you're gonna try separate you gotta go into those bigger pots yeah and I'm like over the moon excited about the broccoli because last year I tried starting the same broccoli and it didn't work but I, tra I planted it directly outside. Yeah. I didn't try starting it inside. So I received back, it says not recommended for direct planting. Well, yeah, I never direct thought planting. about that because these, and then Especially I got to thinking, these, these say urban yeah. leaf. I thought it said urban garden because I couldn't see the thingy mm -hmm. until I zoomed in using the camera. <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, this, these, they're made for people to plant in patios and, and, uh, porches, mm -hmm. little plant pot gardens. And they say what size plant pot to use for each of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I like their little seed packets. I prefer having bigger seed packets, <laughs> but it's great for, for mini gardens and learning I gotta plant the rest of these spinach. I tried actually coming up with a um, water can, a small one to go in the water. Yeah. But it leaks so bad you won't, it's not worth it. The entire thing leaked like a 
That's annoying. Worse than sin. Leak more like a faucet. All the seams. And, and that doesn't work for seeds. No. No. I mean, yeah, you got plants that are 5 inches high, uh, 12 inches high. That's fine. Even maybe even 5 inches high. But not... You need three. something with a very fine spray. So, like one of those water bottles, like what I use for my hair. <laughs> when you're planting tomatoes, I recommend that we... Um, Moisten our soil. Mm -hmm. So, so when you squeeze it, it stays together, holds the ball. Oh, I saw a YouTuber do that, but she uses one of those plastic totes to dump all the soil into to treat it when she's, you know, to do that or to mix in her other stuff for her soil when she is preparing to plant. You know, like the size totes we use for bringing things to drain. Six hundred milligrams of uncoated aspirin. Mixed with one gallon of water. Aspirin? Mm hmm Sprayed onto tomato plants. Causes the tomato plant to boost its immune system massively. Huh. You can buy baby aspirin down at the Dollar Tree. Well, once you've done that, and of course you got to grind it to a... Actually, it dissolves plant. pretty easily. Yeah. Chewables dissolve. Oh. Well, anyhow, that's one of the things for healthier and better tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, they end up um, more disease resistant, produces more fruit, makes it taste better, and increases the nutrient of the fruit. Although I also have to get uh, rock phosphate. Uh, I need, they don't need very much nitrogen just when they, when your first month and a half, they need yeah. a lot of nitrogen. Uh, after that, they don't need it. Not that much, anyhow. So. Calcium, potassium, phosphorus. I go, and this is all organic products. Yeah. I've seen the brand at both Tractor Supply and down here at Agway. So I'll check the price at Agway. Mm -hmm. Then when I go up there and we can check the price up there and okay we need to pick up our fertilizers asap yeah because those are going to skyrocket there's already shortage yeah and up there is good they got the new product in yeah down here he's still dealing with last year's so get it while you can so i thought i'd come down here he's got last year's prices on it so yeah and get my fertilizers down here once I got them, and the um, phosphate, it's two cups. You you make the hole to put your plant in, you put two cups of phosphate in, and you put the roots right on top of it. Oh. Is that what that gardener was doing from this old house like 10, 15 years ago? I don't know. So those are the stack of square pots is what you basically you'd use for for my these peppers, here, or? the same thing for if you were to try separating those peppers. What I have done different is where I've got a mixed six pack, each right. hole has what's in it. Oh, okay. Yeah, now we 